Hey everyone, so Microsoft finally released the Xbox One the way it was supposed to be. Looking back at the original Xbox One, it makes me wonder, like, what were they thinking? It almost looks like a past generation console rather than a current gen. But let's forget about that old VHS player. Let's discuss the newest iteration, the Xbox One S. On first impressions, this console is absolutely gorgeous. It was designed to be a modern looking console. Sure, it's just a boxy design, but small design elements make it truly stand out. You can tell that Microsoft went to great lengths to make this one of the most attractive consoles of the 8th generation, and thank the tech gods for getting rid of that power brick. And even with the internal power brick, the console is now 40% smaller than the outgoing console. And seriously, in my opinion, the Xbox One S is probably one of the best, if not the best looking of the 8th generation consoles. And before we continue with the rest of the review, please note that I am not a fanboy, as I owned all three of the 8th generation consoles. And I look forward to getting my hands on the Nintendo Switch in the near future. In terms of ports, the system includes HDMI out, HDMI in, and three USB 3.0s and it also includes IR out and optical audio. With that said, let's take a closer look at the major differences that this new Xbox One S brings. First of all, it's the first major console to support 4K. Gaming, of course, is being upscaled. No current game is currently running at 4K native resolution on the Xbox One, but the scaling will do wonders for those that are using 4K TVs. However, Netflix and Ultra HD Blu-rays will be displayed in native 4K. Now, let's discuss HDR, which stands for High Dynamic Range. Basically, it increases the spectrum of colors that are being displayed. The whites are wider, the blacks are much deeper. Currently, my TV does not support HDR, but that's something that my next TV will have for sure. And that's something that more and more game developers are beginning to support. The Xbox One S, does have HDR support if connected to a supported TV. In terms of performance, the Xbox One S has extra processing power. GPU is clocked at 914 megahertz versus the 853 megahertz of the regular Xbox One. Total performance, the S model is rated at 1.40 teraflops versus the outgoing model at 1.31 teraflops. Games that utilize a dynamic resolution or unlock frame rates will see an added benefit but nothing too drastic or worth upgrading for. It's just something that's there, but it's not the sole reason to upgrade. Just know that games such as Overwatch, Halo 5, which use a dynamic resolution will see a slight benefit to frame rate. Changing the power button to be an actual physical button was a great move. I cannot tell you how many times I've accidentally hit the old capacitive button and turned on my Xbox. This is definitely a welcome change. Something that isn't mentioned anywhere is the fact that the old Xbox One was very noisy in standby mode. Most of the noise came from the power brick, which housed a very small fan, even when it wasn't downloading anything, and that's something that I absolutely hated. Thankfully, the new S system is far quieter in that regard, and overall the system fans under load seem slightly quieter. But then again, the original Xbox One's fans, while under load, were very quiet to begin with. The controller has received a slight upgrade. It has a textured grip, which is rather nice. But the biggest upgrade is the switch to Bluetooth technology, which provides a much more reliable connection between the system and the controller, bringing the Xbox One up to date with the rest of the consoles. My only issue with the controller is that Microsoft still does not include rechargeable batteries. I think the Project Scorpio better include rechargeable batteries, or a mini rant will ensue when I review that console later this fall. The system is currently available in a variety of colors. I decided to go with the iconic white color, which is technically the basic model, and each other model is either a bundle or an exclusive bundle. Honestly, it would have been pretty wild if you could somehow get some kind of a design your own custom Xbox One, just like you currently can with the Xbox One controllers. I don't know, but that would have been pretty damn cool. Now, should you upgrade from an older Xbox? Personally, I don't think it's worth it, unless if you have a fancy 4K TV and wanna enjoy some 4K content. 
because we all have to keep in mind that Project Scorpio is coming in less than four months, if not earlier. Also, be sure and check out my part one of a console versus video that I made a while back. The link will be down below. I'm currently working on part two of this versus video, so please stay tuned. Anyways, for those interested in the system, I'll provide some Amazon links down below. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.